All right, let's take a seat for seated meditation. Settle in. Why don't you do a couple of head, neck rolls. Just loosen up the muscles. And open and close your jaw. And then just let your eyes settle closed or on one point. Let your hands rest. Add some intention to the posture. Let your sits bones press down into your seat. Lift up from your spine, pull your shoulders back and then find ease here. Let the breath move in and out. And take a couple seconds here and acknowledge all the things in your life that you are thankful for. It can be as simple as air and water, or it can be loved ones, health. You choose, but make a list over the next few moments. And if there's a human being in that list that you're really grateful for, just in your mind's eye, thank them. Thank them for their support, their energy. If you've had an accomplishment, something that has made your life better, spend a second in self-gratitude. Now allow that feeling of gratitude wash over you. Allow it to permeate your cells. In my body, when I allow gratitude to fill me up, it just opens my chest physically a little bit more. I seem to find a little more ease. There's not much, it doesn't take much work to feel thankful. And so for me, it can shift. It can shift all the energy into one that's easier. one that is in a spirit of giving, a spirit of abundance rather than lack.
Draw your hands to your chest. One full body breath in and out. Thumbs to forehead. Namaste. Awesome. Child's pose. And come right into Ujjayi breath, full deep breathing. And you can take that sensation, that feeling of gratitude into your practice. And just see if you're, there's any shift in energy for you when this is where you start or where you come from. Down dog. And sometimes we come into practice with, you know, what our body needs, you know, we need this, we need that. And what are we gonna get? And instead, when you come from a place of gratitude, you actually have everything you need. So it becomes liberating. You allow your body to flow from what is intuitive from a knowing that you have everything you need. Gently walk your feet up to your hands and go one step at a time, take your time. And then you'll take your hands wide I mean, sorry, your feet wide. Lift and lengthen your spine. And drop down into ragdoll. With your next few breaths here, you're just looking for some ease. So you can sway side to side. You create ease in your back by anchoring into your feet. So press down. The quads will squeeze a bit. And then you create ease in your back by activating arms and shoulders. So arm over arm and then lifting your arm bones forward toward the front of your mat. Allow your head to drop into the basket of your arms. Ujjayi breath, full diaphragmatic breath. And your eyes, you set them wide open at the back of your mat. Choose a single point that you can come back to over and over, one that you see clearly to avoid wandering of your vision, wandering of your focus, wandering of your mind. And drop your hands. Heel to the feet in, lengthen your spine. Fold, exhale. Press into the floor, rise up, breathe in. Draw your hands to your chest, just breathe out. Set your gaze forward, breathe in, reach up. And breathe out, fold forward. Lengthen your spine, create some power in your hands, step back to low push up. Up dog. And down dog, breathe out. Press into your hands and your feet, set your gaze. Empty your air, step forward. Lengthen your spine in breath, gaze down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Keep your gaze set, chaturanga. Gaze forward, up dog. And gaze back, down dog. In. Breathe out, step forward. 
lengthen. Fold. <sighs> Rise. Fold forward. Create a continual movement. Half lift and chaturanga, the gaze stays put. Up dog, down dog, in, out, step forward, lengthen, fold, rise, fold forward, Lengthen and low push up. Up dog. Downward facing dog. In breath. Out breath, step forward. Lengthen and fold. Sweep up. Fold forward. Lengthen, hold your gaze, little push up. Up dog, look forward. And down dog, breathe out. Breathe in. And out. In. And out. In, out, in, out, in. You breathe out, step or jump forward, lengthen. Fold. Come to chair and just take a second here. What I want you to discover is lengthen your torso by using your shoulder girdle. You're gonna reach your arms up, pull your arms back and create length. The tailbone goes down. You're gonna draw the front ribs toward the pubic bone so that you create that length. Now breathe in and breathe out. With everything you've got, reach your arms up, breathe in and fold forward, breathe out. Lengthen your spine and take it back, little push up. Up dog, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. So there's a tool, if you're caught up in like maybe overworking your arms and they feel super tight and it feels like you cannot ac access the length, you can, and you can do the Butterfly, where you take your thumb over thumb, place your fingers together and you reach up together and then pull back. And it can create a lock that will let you open the chest a little more. Breath in and take it down, low push up. Up dog and down dog. Left leg. So on this side, you just take the opposite thumb over. And, and I, I use this when I feel like it's like everything I have to straighten my arms, because this lock will allow me to access the back half of my arms and my upper back so that I can go a little deeper. One more breath. And then take it down, a little push up. Up dog. And downward facing dog. One breath in. One breath out, step or jump forward, lengthen your spine and fold. You can do it here in chair too. So if you sit down low in chair, interlace your thumbs, reach up, breathe in, and then take it down, fold forward. Half lift and low push up. Up dog, let your collarbone spread down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. 
And same thing, if you need it, you use it. Open up the chest and then take it down, a little push up. It's a tool, up dog, down dog. Left side, warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step or jump forward. Lengthen your spine. And fold. Chair, fold, halfway lift, and low push up, up dog, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one, gaze forward, chaturanga, gaze down, up dog, gaze forward. Down dog, gaze back. Set it. Left foot, warrior one. Gaze forward. Chaturanga, gaze down. Up dog. Down dog. In. Breathe out. Step or jump. Lift and lengthen. Gaze down, fold, gaze back. Chair, gaze forward. Fold, gaze back. Lengthen, gaze down. Hold it here, chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, right foot forward. Let's open warrior two, stay low. Goal is to get the hips on the same plane, horizontal. Energy in both feet. You'll lift the front of the pelvis to take the tailbone down. Your gaze can be over your right hand. Full breathing. You wanna reach fingertip to fingertip, reach like you're taking your upper arm bone out of the shoulder socket. One more breath. Empty it. Big reverse. You can straighten your front leg and then you'll just take it down to low push up. Go easy. Up dog, down dog. Left leg, warrior one. Warrior two. And some diligence, just check out your femur bones, make sure they're coming right out of your pelvis. Stack your shoulders right over your pelvis. Root into both feet. Ujjayi breath. Full breathing. And the deeper the lunge, the safer it is for your joints, both the knee and the hip joint. And I say that the deeper the lunge, not lower than parallel. <laughs> Reverse it. And take it down. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Press into your left foot. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee, lift your foot higher, and then open it up, knee toward the side wall, go hip over hip. Stay right here or come to the ball mound of your left foot and gently flip your dog. If you're in the flip dog, you're pressing into your feet, your knees reach to the back of your mat. The crown of your head goes down toward the mat and your right arm is reaching to the front of your room. Breathe in and out. You're gonna reach up to the ceiling, rotate over to downward facing dog. And then right into side plank, right arm down, stacking your shoulder over your wrist, foot over foot, Hugging in, feel free to add a modification of dropping your knee. You can lift your left leg. Three, two, gaze up. Last breath in, gaze down, chaturanga. 
up dog, down dog. <sighs> Take a full breath in, open your mouth, stick your tongue out, breathe out. <sighs> if you missed that opportunity, one more in. <sighs> Now root into your right foot as you lift your left leg up, then bend your knee, heel to the sky, and then hip over hip. Stay here or ball mount of your right foot and gently flip your dog. Get that long reach, knees back, Crown of the head towards your mat, left arm reaches forward. Three, two, one, reach up, flip it over to down dog, and then just ride over to side plank. Your gaze goes up now. Keep your head in line with your shoulders. So bring your neck back so that it's an extension of your spine. Last breath in, take it down, chaturanga. Upward dog, down dog. <sighs> take your right leg up, inhale to high plank. Right leg stays lifted. Bring your knee right into the center of your chest and hold. Three, two, one. Take it over to your left elbow, one. Two, three, right elbow, one, two, three, come to center, lift up from your center, crescent lunge. Yeah, second to set it up. Root into both feet, back heel to the sky. Dip deep so that your front thigh is parallel to the floor. And then you're gonna twist over your right leg. You can take your elbow to your thigh. Right, you can open your arms. You could take your left arm down to the inside. I want you to go where you feel the most space and stability. Feel free to change it up. Gazes over your right shoulder if you can get there. One more. Empty, stay low, warrior two. Big reverse, extended side angle. Forearm can come to your thigh or hand down to a block. I like the outside of my front leg. Take your left arm and reach it over your ear toward the front of your room, your space. Full breath, empty, reach up. <laughs> Take your hands down, low push up. What are you doing, Roger? It's like a disco there, upward dog. Downward dog. <sighs> ah, I think he was trying to get out of the warrior two or something. <laughs> Lift your left leg up. So first you're in down dog, and then you're just going to bring your weight forward, ball mound of your right foot up, and you're in a high plank with your leg lifted. And then bring your left knee right into the center of your chest, and you're gonna hold. And then you're gonna take it over to your right elbow and hold. And then you're gonna take it to your left elbow and hold. Trying to maintain high plank. Without locked elbows, you're pressing into the floor, lifting your shoulders up, come to center, lift from the center and set it down for crescent lunge. Good, and quick little setup, right? So there's a tendency to wanna draw the right hip back. You wanna bring it forward. You do that by getting the ball end of your foot square forward. Create space and then twist.
Drawing both shoulders onto your back. One more breath, breathe it out. Spin it open, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Extended side angle lunge. Same options on this side. First, we start reaching up. So the reach up is to really get space. Press down into your left hand, both shoulders on your back. Press into both feet, hugging the seat in and then reach over your ear. Space from right foot to right fingertips. Three, two, last one. Reach up on your in and take it down. Chaturanga on your out breath. Up dog, gaze forward. Down dog, gaze back. Breathe in, breathe out, step or jump forward. Lengthen your spine, fold. Sit down in chair, critical alignment here because we're gonna twist with it. So you wanna make sure you're drawing your shins back, seat down, create this length in your spine. You can even take your arms and reach them straight forward for right now. Straight forward instead of up. Pull your shoulders back, hands to your heart, twist right. Keep pressing into your feet. Full breath. One more. And fold over your legs, walk your feet out, grab the big toes, lengthen your spine, pull down. Eyes wide open, see what you see. Lengthen your spine and heel toe your feet back in for chair. Fold, exhale, use your in breath, sit in chair. And then reach your arms forward again, really trying to get this arms forward, shoulders back, hands to heart, then twist. Seat goes down. So as you adjust in the twist, the seat goes down, chest lifts. Seat goes down, chest lifts. Pressing down on both feet. Last breath. Fold forward. Gorilla pose. Nice, release your feet. And why don't you come to a yoga squat? I'm just gonna do a real quick demo, um, mostly just so Alex has a refresher. So we're gonna do two crows. You're gonna have two opportunities. The first one, I just want you to try to get in it. And then the second one, we'll try to hold. So your hands will go on your mat a little bit more narrow than they are for Chaturanga. You're gonna bring your toes and heels to touch. Put your knees up in your armpits. Take a breath in, breathe out. You're gonna to start to bring your weight forward, pressing down into the floor, then lifting from the inner arches up, up, up. Squeeze in, send the chest forward. Okay, you try. Too narrow, Alex. Too narrow with your hands, there you go. Good, and your elbows are bent, knees way up, all the way into the armpits. Suck them way up there. Good, nice, Andrea, toes together and heels together. You too, Roger, toes and heels. We're just gonna work this for three. You got it, two, 
Uh huh. Don't, yeah, not see. There you go. And one, now stop, come back to the yoga spot for a second, roll your wrist out. So, Alex, not so much of a launching in, a lifting. You got to really get that. It's like all the connection from inner arch to groin that pulls you into the pose. It's not the, you see it better from the side? Is it better if I do it from the side or the front? Side? Okay. So it's really, your hands are widely placed on the mat. Hands widely placed on the mat, but not out here. Like really like right, just a little bit. I'm gonna say right underneath my shoulders, knees way up here. Okay, and so there's a tilting in. You use your exhale, ah, that squeezes the belly. And then bring the feet together and you're gonna squeeze, 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 all the way up. Try one more. You wanna make sure that your index finger is facing forward. There you go, squeeze in. So put your knees in your, in your armpit so that your shins lay on your arm bones. Three, two, nice, Andrea. Awesome, one more squat. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Woo, let's take one more together, squat. That's good work. The advantage of only having a few people in class. Good. Okay, and then press down into your feet, heel toe in, lengthen your spine, fold down, oh, all the way up, reach. We're gonna go eagle pose. You're gonna wrap your right arm under, right leg over, and breathe. Set your drift to your gaze forward. And then reach up, keep your gaze forward. Drishti Asa, left side. So when you maintain your visual focus, it trains you to maintain your focus with any task, no matter how menial or how important. And then reach up, right side. And reach up, left side. And reach up, hands to chest. Take a moment, kind of check in with your feet, make sure they are right under your pelvis. Lift your right leg up, take your left hand to the sky. Right leg out to the side, left arm out to the side. You can shift your gaze over your left hand. If that makes you unstable, then come back to center. Bring it all back to center. Extend both arms up. You can do that thumb over thumb thing. Keep your hands over your head. Send your leg back so you're in warrior three. And then bring your arms parachute, lift the chest, and then fly your wings, airplane. Your gaze is down, but not at your foot, like in the front of your mat. Hands to chest. Gently fold over your left leg. Left hand to the floor or a block, spin up and half moon. And 
If you're wobbly, you're gonna add the energy right where you wobble out and come right back in. Work on your edge. One more breath. Foot down. Rise up. You know, we're gonna grow hands to chest. We're gonna grow in those spots where we get wobbly. So that's where we wanna really work the edge. Left leg up, right arm to the sky. Left leg out, right arm out. We could be in a space where, come back to center, where we wobble and we get angry at ourselves. But I want you to come back to the gratitude every time. You're going to go to warrior three. Every time, the gratitude of what you can do, not a focus on what you can't do. Parachute arms and then airplane. Your body is different every day, muscle soreness, stress, injury. Thank you. Forgive through that and be grateful for what is possible. Talk nice to yourself. Hands to chest, fold over your right leg. And open up in half moon. And just keep working it. We're gonna have a nice five to seven breaths for you to come in and come out, come back to your drishti, your foundation, foot, hand, pelvis, ujjayi. Rejoice in the small victories. One more breath. Foot down. If you have a strap, you can grab it. Rise to mountain. We'll take the right foot, either in your strap or your hand. We'll just take a second. We're a small group today. Let's let's take the pace that we need to succeed. Ground into your left foot. Bend your right knee behind you. Take a second and set this up, right? Feel the left foot on the floor. Square your pelvis. Lift from your right leg. Walk your hands down the strap to create a banda. Ujjayi breath, gaze forward. Three more, keep working the pose, it's okay. Two. One. Nice, easy switch. Same thing, we're gonna take a second, lock your foot in, create a foundation on your right foot and take it behind you. Make sure you're stable, press into your right foot, start to lift your left leg up. A nice little bend in the right leg will give you some mobility in the pelvis. Four more. Gaze forward. You got it, it's okay. Two. And release. Nicely done. Now you emotionally and mentally let that go. And then grab the right leg. So right foot. First be stable with just your right leg behind you. And then you build from the stability. Keep the gaze forward, keep your breath moving. If you stifle the breath, you'll become unstable almost always. Two more, stay. One. And two, nice, left side.
Bend your standing leg a bit. Let the pelvis kind of roll forward so that you're lifting with your seat. Two and one. Really shake it out. Drop your strap. Hands by your side. Feet square and mountain. Breath easy. Gaze set. Right foot up, tree. Placing your foot anywhere along your left leg is the pose. When you reach your arms up, remember, pull your shoulders back so the chest will open. Keep your head in line with your spine. Breathe. Two, hands to chest, foot down, hands by your side, left side. Try to keep your gaze set as you move. And just remember if you go up, shoulders pull back first to go up keeping them integrated in your upper spine, easing your jaw. Two more. Last breath, hands to chest. Big reach up, extended mountain. Fold forward, breathe out. Lift and lengthen, breathe in. And chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog in, down dog out. Warrior one, right foot forward, breathe in, rise up. Sorry, I'm reaching for my block. Open warrior two. And go into triangle pose. I like to reverse my warrior and straighten my front leg for some length, but that is not necessary. You just wanna come into triangle pose, both legs straight, both feet firmly planted on the floor, right hand either on the floor or a block. You could rest it on your shin if you don't have a block. Your gaze is up, breathful. You'll gently come up. You're gonna rotate your right foot in, lengthen your spine and fold over. Wide legged straddle fold. Any arm variation you like, you can take your hands behind and interlace and open the chest if you want. You take your hands to the floor, press into the floor, press your chest through the window of your thighs. You could grab your feet my personal favorite, I can pull in. Whatever you've chosen, take your hands to the floor in front of you, press down into the floor and lengthen your spine. Breathe out, bring your hands to your hips, rise up. Take your right foot, turn it forward, step your left foot out for pyramid pose. Keep your right hand on your right hip, reach your left arm up, reach forward with your left arm, take your hips back. Really working to keep right and left hip on the same level platform. And then you'll take your left hand down to a block. I go inside of my foot, you can go outside, that um, does not give me more space. It crunches me. So I'm going into the inside and spin open for twisting triangle.
One more breath. And out. <sighs> Hands down. Step back. Low push up. Up dog. Down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Breathe in and out. Open warrior two. And go into triangle. Give yourself your jai breath, visual focus, and grounding. You're grounding into your feet, right? They're pressing into the floor. But you're also grounding with the pelvis as you draw the thigh bones into the pelvis. Pelvic floor lifts, and it gives you more energy to press into the feet. Also gives you more space in the spine. Anchoring the pelvis, you can lengthen every vertebra out of the pelvis. One more, empty it out, soften your legs, come up, turn your heels, your feet in, good length, and fold again, choose something different for your arms. Nice and integrate halfway up, all the way up. Turn your feet, pyramid on the uh, left, left hand to left hip, right arm up. Take a big reach. And then when you're ready, the right hand will come down to your block, inside or outside of your left foot. Create that length in your spine and then twist open five, four, Three, two, last breath, hands down. <sighs> Breathe in and lengthen your spine. Breathe out, step back, low push up. Up dog, downward facing dog. <sighs> Forearm plank. You're just going to hold. Keep the head and neck in line, right? So you'll have a tendency when you drop your chin, don't do that. Lift up from the back of your head. Crown of the head forward, drift you straight down. Press up to high plank. Press down to low plank, I mean to um, forearm plank. And then up and then down. Up. Down. Up. Lower five, four, three, two. Down. One ear on the floor. <sighs> Let every muscle in your torso relax. Center your chin on the floor. Choose your arm position and lift up into locust. So I like my hands on the floor because it allows me to integrate my shoulders better. Feet flex. Three, two, last breath, and down, opposite ear to the floor. Every muscle relaxes.
Center your chin. Same or different arm variation, locust. Integrate shoulders, draw the low belly in, lift, flex your feet, four, three, two, bend your knees, grab your ankles. Keep going floor bow, flexed feet, knees come right out of your pelvis, lift, Go back through locust and then floor. <sighs> Place your hands underneath your uh, or lowest ribish and then shoulders on your back, lift up, up dog. Breathe and down dog. Knees down for camel pose. You'll come up, integrate your shoulders on your back. Use your breath, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze. And breathe in, open. Hands can come to your buttocks and you can press down or you can go to your thighs and you can just hold the thighs so the knees are pressed into the floor. You can go to your shins. Breathe in, one more. Exhale, chin to chest, all the way up. Have a little seat, get a little drink. And then close your eyes. Elongate your spine. Elongate your breath. Open your eyes. Reset. Camel. Grounding your feet and your knees into the mat, squeezing the pelvis, integrating shoulders, opening up. Ujjayi breath in and out. Gently tend to chest all the way up. Come straight onto your back, put your feet in front. You're gonna come into bridge pose. We'll do six, uh, we're gonna do one bridge and then six other, so we have seven total back bends here. You can make them all bridges or you can alternate bridge wheel or do a combination of that, but press up and bridge. We're gonna hold this one to establish the connection of our feet, engage the thighs, press the shoulders down, like open the chest, like feel the full expression of bridge. You're lifting the sits, the hip bones, the front of the hip bones to the ceiling, gaze is up. Ujjayi breath, one more. And then you're slowly gonna roll it down one vertebra at a time, exhale. And then we'll do six more, any combination. You'll breathe in, breathe out, press up. Breathe in and out, gently come down. Breathe in, breathe out, press up. Breathe in, breathe out, come down. Breathe in, breathe out, press up. Breathe in, breathe out, come down. 
Breathe in. Breathe out, press up. Breathe in and out, come down. Every time you come down, there's an opportunity to reset. Breathe in, breathe out, press up. In, out, come down. Now, if you're accessing these right, you should feel some burning in your quads by now. Breathe in, breathe out. This is the last one. Press up. Breathe in and out. Come all the way down. Drop your knees in, keep your feet wide for just a second. Let your spine settle into your mat. And then do just the opposite butterfly, feet together, knees out. <sighs> Take your feet to the floor. Interlace your hands behind your head. And with your feet on the floor, just do basic crunches. Pulse up for 20. So that's 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Push your low back down. 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, hold. Take your knees right over the pelvis, reach your feet to the ceiling, lower your right leg. Keep curling up, switch your legs. One, two, three, curl up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, curl up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, low back on the ground. 17, 18. 19, 20, bend your knees, bicycle, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take your hands underneath your low back, extend your legs straight to the ceiling, flex your feet, breathe in, Lower than one third, pull your femurs into the hip socket. Breathe in two thirds. To a hover, chin to chest, five, four, back down, three, two, one, slowly up, head down. Breathe in, lower one third, <sighs> two, hover, chin to chest. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, knees to chest. Rock up and back. Into boat, Navasan. Breathe. 5, 4, 3, Two, rock and roll. Downward facing dog. Half pigeon. You choose which leg is first. Maybe do one that's not normally first. Breathe in it. Let 
We want to try to take some of the energy out of our shoulders and head and neck. So a block can come in handy under your head so that you can let your arms rest. Just two more breaths. And gently you'll switch sides. You can press up to down dog and kind of neutralize the pelvis or just switch over, whatever's easiest for you. Set it up intentionally, creating good space, ease in your breath. And gradually taking the weight out of your shoulders and arms so that you can rest in the pose and allow the opening to occur. You can shut your eyes and let your drishti or your focus go in. Maybe you can come back to gratitude. Maybe you have something different to add to your list. I'm really thankful to be able to share this practice with you. Gently press up and you'll bring your back leg around for double pigeon. Take a second to set up, get both sits bones square using a prop where you need one. Switch sides. I like to go through a little boat pose to switch, but you don't have to do it this way. Sometimes my hips have to be coaxed into things. <laughs> Give yourself a few breaths here. And if this is a place in the practice where you usually kind of check out, especially since we're at home, check back in, check back into breath. Check back into the practice of gratitude. And you're gonna come up and set yourself up for frog, either face down or face up. Once you get in the pose, find ease again in your face, shoulders. Be kind with your thoughts.
about halfway. Ever so gently, you'll work your way out of frog. We'll meet on our seats. Bring your right foot into your left thigh. And a big reach up and a fold forward. Oh. Put your legs out. Big reach and fold. Come on. Stand both legs. <clears throat> Big reach. Fold forward, grab onto your feet, press your big toe forward, really peel the baby toes back. Activate the muscles in your legs to pull in deeper. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll take your hands behind you and lift up into reverse plank or reverse tabletop. Open the head, I'm sorry, open the throat by letting the head drop back. Lion's breath. <sighs> One more. <sighs> You'll gently come down. I'm gonna call headstand. If you prefer shoulder stand or waterfall, do that. Otherwise, go into headstand. We can spend a couple of seconds remembering how. Your hands come down. You can make a basket with your fingers. Elbows come right out of your own shoulders. You should be able to grab your own upper arms. Drop your head down. Walk your feet up. One leg goes up. The other knee comes into your chest. You pause and then reach up. And you hold. Press into your arms. Squeeze your legs, flex your feet. If you're in the headstand, gently come out. Shoulder stand into plow. From plow to air pressure pose. And we're all gonna meet up in happy baby. Happy baby. So you just, from child's pose, just roll over. Keep your right leg, keep your right foot, let your left leg go so you're in a half happy baby. And keep pulling your right foot down toward the earth, pulling your right knee toward the floor. And then hug your knee into your chest. 
And you're gonna take a twist. You'll take your hips over to the right as you twist your right leg over to the left. Come back to center. Both knees into chest. Happy baby. Now you let your right leg go straight and you keep working half happy baby with your left foot. So you're gonna hold onto the left foot or toes pulling your left knee and thigh toward the ground on the outside of your torso. Reach your right leg long. your left knee to your chest. Shift your hips again to the left this time and twist. Gently come to center. Soles of the feet together, knees out, butterfly. Let your arms rest by your sides. Close your eyes. Have easy breath in and out. Hmm. Shavasana. Let go of any holding you have. Allow the body to feel heavy and weightless at the same time. Relax your face. Deepen your breath. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll to your side. One last opportunity for gratitude. I'm thankful for this breath. Press to your seat. And from your seat, hands to chest center. Thumbs to forehead. I see you.
together. Namaste. Thank y'all so much. Let me hit this button. Thanks, Aunt Lori. <laughs>